Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do cock talk. We're going to do a full on the whole shebang of what's been going on, where I'm at, where I've been, what is going on with me. So I'm excited to kind of share this with you guys, but also kind of feel like it's a little raw and a little candid and feel like it's just a lot of stuff that's been going on. So you guys grab your coffee or your wine or your whatever you're drinking. I just made some honey lemon tea with some honey because I'm kind of feeling a little like congesty and weird and like my, I don't know, I keep looking up my like throat and like nose is kind of like stuffy, but I feel fine. So honey lemon is happening. It is steaming, it's hot, so crack guys some coffee. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we will dive into what's going on with the Shar. So with all that all said, you guys, basically, here's the be-all and end-all of the excitement, of the not-excitement, of if you guys are even hopefully willing to and wanting to hear this. Pretty much, I take I've taken a little bit of a hiatus from social media and from posting as much and from uploading as much um, I just have really been struggling with myself and my excitement and motivation and drive in in putting out content more so mostly because like it basically here where I live in Alberta it like transitioned from like 26 degrees to like suddenly like five degrees outside and it kind of just went from like summer to winter and there's been like no transition period so normally I'm someone that doesn't get affected by the like sad they call it seasonal affective disorder like I've never taken vitamin D in my life I've never it's never been a thing like I've never had an issue in the winter months so I I don't know if it's really that or if it's just that you know you kind of get the blues sometimes so I've just been struggling with myself and my mental health and just feeling like really down and feeling like really like unexcited with my life and I don't know how to share that with you guys and I teach and talk to you guys all the time about mental health and all of the tips and tricks and like I live through my experience with my anxiety and my um, bouts of depression but like I haven't had a lot of this happen in a long time so like it's kind of something that I teach and share and teach you guys all of my tips and tricks on things that help and things that help manage it but at the end of the day I'm still human and I still struggle sometimes and I deal with my anxiety day in and day out but I don't usually deal with bouts of depression and I started to feel myself slipping into a depressive state where I was starting to really like lose myself and my center and you know that's just life and that just happens and I've had a hard time being transparent with you guys, especially with like Instagram stories and sharing all of that because I love helping you guys and I love helping you have a brighter perspective on your day and I love to help people change their lives, but I felt like I couldn't help you change your life if I was struggling with my own life. Um, so that's something that has been, you know, really tough probably I would say the last like month or so I've been kind of feeling this way and I've just been pushing through and putting out content and and trying to build and create and still be that happy, happy, bubbly person. But honestly, it's it's hard to when you're struggling with yourself. Um, and really, at the end of the day, it's just it's another form of mental health and it's another form of struggle and pain. And that you have no idea what someone is going through when you like see the outside. And that's like the biggest thing I can take from what I've been through in the last month is that I just I need to be more understanding and be more perspective about like people and what they're struggling with because at the end of the day you can see someone who's the happiest they could ever possibly be and you're like wow their life is so great but really they're like struggling to hold it all together and I know what that's like because I have dealt with lots of anxiety in the past and lots of mental health struggles but then to have it kind of come to the surface again has been really transitional and like really really honestly hard you guys like it's been really hard and I'm finally feeling like I'm kind of coming out the other side I have an amazing support system and I have amazing people around me and and they are so amazing and so crucial to surround yourself with people that will help you through the hardest moments of your life because I know for me I'm the kind of person where like 
I'm honest and raw about everything I've been through and I am an open book and I share everything. I wear my heart on my sleeve, but when it comes to like sharing my struggles and like ripping off that band-aid is so hard and I didn't really realize I was like this until I sat down with a girlfriend of mine last week and she was like, really sure? Really? She's like, get your shit together. She's like, you just need to be open about how you're feeling. And I was like, I am open about how I'm feeling. And she's like, no, you're not, because you pretend it's all okay. And honestly, you guys, I do. I really do. I am the kind of person where, like, I am super strong. And I, I consider myself to have a high pain tolerance and a high, like, resilience to, like, life struggles and a high, like, I am tough as nails. And I've always been like that, and I was raised to be that way. <laughs> but frig. <laughs> I cannot let that guard down and I and as I'm telling you guys this and I'm sure my mother is watching this video right now mom I'm exactly like you because you're the same way and I didn't realize that until like this past week but seriously I like learn trait learn habit um, not a bad thing but it's just honestly the way I am I just I don't like to share that weakness especially with people that are really really close to me like my, my co-workers I spend a lot of time with and like they see some weakness but I don't show like I'm very like tough and I'm like I've got this like I don't need somebody to like hold me up like I don't need anybody and especially in my relationship with my boyfriend like he is my rock and he is my strong and steady and he keeps me so grounded but I'm like afraid to show that raw side because I am so tough as hell like I don't need to like show weakness and that's something that I really realized in this process and I guess at the end of the day that's what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you can like start to feel like you're crumbling and falling apart at the seams and totally cracking under all of the pressure in your life but it all teaches you something and like I've learned so much about myself just through like this past like few weeks to like a month of like feeling totally out of sync with myself so it's like beauty in the in the whatever you want to call it or like the silver lining I guess you could say so that's kind of what's been going on with me, so that's why you've seen like a hiatus from Instagram, from posting, um, from like being Instagram storying, like I'm usually so absorbed into it, and I really realized that I need to start like honing back in on myself. So that's what I've been doing. I've also um, taken a little bit of a hiatus from the gym. I finally have gotten my shoulder to a place where it's really like functioning and it's really well and not waking up in pain every day and I can attest that to the gym and to stretching. Um, so I can't fully say that I'm breaking up with the gym but we're kind of on a break. Um, I'm still planning to go like one or two times a week just to do like the physical weight strengthening for the rotator on my shoulder. But I've pretty much decided that I have been fighting in this vicious battle with the gym for like the last year where I'm like, I want to weight train and I want to put on muscle and I want to look a certain way and this and that. And I've become like consumed with this obsessive behavior to look and get result from the gym. And instead of, and I've tried time and time again to channel like, no, I'm going to channel my shoulder and I'm going to channel my health. I mean, I'm going to channel feeling well, but I've literally, I reached a block in this past week where I was like, this is not sitting well with me and my gut is like fuck the gym it like honestly fuck the gym like I love weight training and I love the high I get from it and like it feels so incredible like I can't explain to you the feeling that I get from that but it's not feeding my mental health well and I'm going to still do it here and there, but I'm not going to put the pressure on myself that I need to do this and that I have to do this and that I need to go to the gym every day and I have, I'm like trying to live someone else's dream by seeing all these people on Instagram that weigh train like five days a week, seven days a week, whatever. I like put this pressure to be somebody I'm not and instead of honing in on myself and being like, what do I truly love doing? Like I love working out and I love taking care of my body because you only get one and like I'm a huge believer in like de-stressing and detoxifying and like helping your mental health with working out because it's so amazing for your mental health. But it's just the gym is not, it's not doing well by me and I'm just not happy and I go there and I am miserable. So I'm done. I've decided that I am completely done with that. Um, I'm going to go just to purely strengthen my shoulder and work on that, but I'm going to let go of the gym and I'm going to channel my energy into yoga practice. I love yoga more than I could tell you. Like, it is literally my life and if I could not do yoga, I 
think I would die. It is the only thing that really keeps my mental health at bay. And I do it once a week. I do one class a week on Saturdays. But I am going to probably look at doing another class in the week instead of like swapping that out from the gym. Doing another like float class throughout the week. And I'm going to do more of it at home. So I really want to up the ante on like my yoga practice. And I want to start like doing further and deeper poses and practicing every day. Because it's something that I love doing. Like, I feel like I've been like going to the going to work going to the gym and then coming home, making dinner, eating dinner, and then I'm like, okay, so only time do you do yoga and meditation? And I'm just I'm struggling to find the time to do all of that and work on my business and work on my YouTube channel. And like, it's just, it's just this turning wheel of like too much stuff. So I've decided to take that weight off, take off the gym and practice more into yoga and working towards my yoga goals that I have because I love it more than I can put into words. So aside from that, those are like the main two things that have really been going on with me. Um, I'm having some, also having some like gut issues with like food and stuff like that. So I'm really trying to look at my appetite and get some tests done to see if I can get some allergy testing to see if I'm allergic to anything in my diet. But like that's just a never ending brutal process that takes God knows how long because it's just you get put around the ringer with your doctor when you do that. So. I'm kind of diving into some of that. I am doing some gut healing, so I'm looking into gut healing right now um, and doing some extra stuff. So I will share that stuff with you guys in another video on gut healing and what I've got for gut healing when my LRP order for next month comes out. Um, so I'm working on a lot of that stuff, just really trying to like be more introspective and like more in tune with my body. So that will be also another video that I want to do about being in tune with your body and listening to your body. So I am working on some stuff, but I'm also not putting pressure and guilt on myself for not accomplishing things and not getting things done because at the end of the day, you can have goals and dreams and passions and visions and yes, those things are so important, but I'm a huge believer in balance and I'm a huge believer that if you don't take care of this foundation right here, you're not going to have a foundation to push and grind at your passion. So you got to take care of all of this stuff. So. Besides that, you guys, that is pretty much the update. Um, just a lot of stuff and a lot of struggle and, you know, that's okay. At the end of the day, I feel like I'm coming out the other side with a lot more light and a lot more clarity of myself and a lot more understanding of what I really need to focus on. And I think there's a lot of power in channeling your light and, like, not dimming your light because other people don't have the same passions. Because I know I'm that kind of person where I'll just, like, sparkle down because I'm like, oh, well... Maybe they're right, maybe I should be doing that. Maybe, like I fall under the influence of people and that's just typical to my birth sign and typical to like just who I am. I'm a loving, giving empath who just absorbs everybody's energy. So that's pretty much where we're at, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini life update. I hope you're enjoying your coffee or tea on this lovely weekend morning. Um, it is chilly and cold here, but the sun is shining. I'm actually going to go to the gym today because I need to do some strength training on my shoulder, but I'm not going to pressure myself. I'm just going to go and just get it all out and get it all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.